Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Twigs beverages and then an extra one. <laughs> um, these, this is the Farmer's Brew Butterscotch Root Beer, just the uh, traditional root beer. Uh, peach Cobbler, and this one is, would you say it was 7-Up? It's a 7-Up, yeah. And it's yeah. called Sun Drop, which we've never tried before. Yeah, people recommended that I try a Sun Drop and I couldn't find it in our area, so Michael was kind enough to send us all of these. Um, he grew up with twigs, uh, and I'll tell you about them. It says, Our History. In 1951, Floyd Hartwig, or Twig, as he was known around town, started Twig's Beverage in Shano, Wisconsin. With a humble beginning, Floyd would sell a case of soda and use the money to buy a loaf of bread for his wife and family. Sixty years later, Twig's Beverage still remains a family business, valuing the traditions created from its modest origins. Staying true to its roots, Twig still makes its sodas in authentic glass bottles. Take a swig of Twigs. Visit us at www.twigsbeverage.net. So, now do you think he was called Twig because he was skinny? Probably. Usually if somebody's skinny, they you call them Boney Maroney or Twig or, you know, something like that. Okay, so it says, um, the Farmer's Brew Butterscotch Root Beer. A tribute. This special root beer was made to commemorate the Farmer's Brewery in Shawano, Wisconsin in 1908. A group of farmers organized the brewery, uh, survived prohibition, and bottled beer until the 1940s. And the photo is courtesy of the Shawano County Historical Society. So at the end of the video, I give close, uh, there, there are close up pictures. If you want to pause it, then you can see the uh, photograph at the end. Um, eight ounces, there are actually one and a half servings in the bottle because it's a 12 ounce bottle. It says uh, eight ounces are 116 calories. Let's see if it's a twist off. It is. It is a twist off. So this is butterscotch root beer. I thought we'd try the regular root beer afterwards. Sometimes this root, the butterscotch is more like a cream soda. It's delicious. I can smell the butterscotch. Oh gosh, it's like a dessert. And it's just like drinking pure syrup. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> that is. It's very, very. I don't know how anybody could not like that. Mm. that unless I, you just really didn't like. Unless you don't like syrupy root beer. sweet butterscotch either. <laughs> yes. So uh, somebody had left a comment that were there from. I think they were from Germany. Is what I'm thinking. They did not grow up with root beer but they grew up with like some other kind of malted beverage and they were saying, so where you hate the malted beverage and you love root beer, I hate the root beer and love the malted beverage. So it's just a matter of what you're raised yeah, on. Um, to me, that is a five out of five. That yeah, is delicious. It's very, very good. I think it's what your taste buds are used to. It's very, very uh, syrupy sweet and you really feel like you've had a dessert. Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely, definitely get your sugar content. You could definitely <laughs> drink this in place of a dessert. I think. Oh, you don't? No. Yeah. Or with you. Drink it with your, um, after your meal. Oh, uh, yeah. You could. Just with a dessert. This is just the root beer, and it gives the exact same story that's on uh, this. Um, it tells this on the root beer bottle, so I'm not skipping any uh, thing. This is 116 calories for uh, one and a half uh, bottles. So it's the exact same calories. So we'll see which one we would rather have, regular root beer or butterscotch. The flavor's not as strong. No. I like it if you are craving just a traditional root beer. Which I would probably pick that one also. Oh, huh. for the cal if the calories are exactly the same, I'm going for dessert. Yeah, but I love it. Just the traditional root beer flavor. I it's, like it's very very good. It's a good, uh, it's a really good root beer. Where we've had some root beers that weren't quite so good. Right. This one is a good traditional root. It beer. is. It, it, it is very good. It is a very very nice. So if you know what that root beer flavor tastes like. This is perfect. This is a great example of it. And it is a five out of five for what it is right. too. Yeah. It's just the flavor's not nearly as strong as the butterscotch. I mean, it couldn't be. If it's the same <laughs> calories, why wouldn't you have a it's, piece of bakery The cake? butterscotch is very, very good. It's, it's almost too much for me. 
I like Never. that. I like Never that little again. sharp bite of the root beer. Yeah, I get that. Okay, now this, it's the same story on the bottle, is the peach cobbler made with 100% real sugar. Uh, this one should be Since 1951, it says. My mom was born in 1951. Um, eight ounces, one and a half servings. This is 112 calories. I really commend them for putting the exact calories on these bottles because um, in the United States, you, they, they don't have to, as far as I've seen, put exact calories on they anything. Better. They've gotten better, but I, I really like it that they, they went ahead and did that. They didn't round it, you know? That very peach. It, yes, it's very nice, but it's it, it there's something different in that. It tastes like a creamed, like mm -hmm. a like a peach cream or something. Yes, I it's guess creamy. that's what gives it the cobbler, the dessert filling. And when um, I think of peach cobbler, though, it's usually peaches and some kind of really thick, heavy, like brown sugar kind of no syrup kind okay. of Okay. So that's what that kind of reminds me of. Although it does have a creamy, like an orange cream sickle, like an orange cream. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit too. So it's very good. It's, it, a, it's I don't really, I like peaches, but I don't, wouldn't go to them all the time, but that's really good. I would drink that. It does taste like it's in heavy syrup. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It tastes like peaches that have, have just been saturated in heavy syrup. It, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm not a peach person either all the time. I've said it before, I like canned peaches and heavy syrup. So this is what, if I was gonna pick a peach drink, I would definitely choose this because it's, very, it's very excellent for, yeah, they did a good job with it. So I'm impressed with all of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you can't go wrong with any of them. No, but my, pick, my favorite's gonna pick be. Your, pick your poison and go with whichever one you want. You know, my favorite's gonna be the dessert, but yours would be just beer. the root beer. Okay, now this is from a completely different company and uh, Michael uh, wanted us to try this because uh, people had recommended it. I don't know why we don't have it around here. Uh, sun drop citrus soda uh, made with sugar and I checked um, I checked uh, service stations I checked Walmart Kroger I, I did look in those places and I did not see this um, so they might have sold it um, in a 12 pack or something like that I didn't look I looked for a single bottle like this and didn't see it it is one bottle is 12 ounces and it is 170 calories and it is made by um, Dr. Pepper, and they are in Texas. Sounds like a seven up for a Sprite. People recommended that we tried this when we were doing the review of the, um, the citrusy drinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tastes like a 7-Up or Sprite or any of those um, lemon-lime kind of drinks. And it's it has good. a little bit good. of a bite to it like those do. Yeah, it's very good, but it's very similar. So, I mean, it, it would with those, it's kind of take your pick, you know? Yes, it is very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's um, good. It's very good. Yes, I, mean, I like it, but I think, yeah, I think if this were available next to those other ones, it's like, well, it doesn't make any difference. Right. It tastes, they taste so much alike. Yeah. That it truly it doesn't matter. This one for me, I actually like this one because it's not super carbonated. Because I don't like a really strong carbonated drink. Like Coke is really carbonated for me, whereas Pepsi's a little less carbonated. Um, this one's a little less carbonated, so I like that in it. Mm -hmm. It's not as syrupy sweet as like a Seven Up or Sprite are, because they tend to be syrupy. Yes, that's true. Um, it's very good though. Yes. If you get them in your area, I'm sure you drink them all the time. I would rather have the Twix though, I'll tell you that. I mean, the root beer, I'm always going to go for a root beer if I yeah. could. Too bad they don't make a diet version of that. Or they might, but, but... I think it's a shame that it's so... I mean, I'm gl glad that it's a locally known in uh, uh, northern Wisconsin. That's terrific. But I wish these were more widely available. But Michael has sent us four others. So we will be doing another review of Twigs with four other completely, and they're gonna all be Twigs. There, there won't be any extra. Uh, there will be four more Twigs beverages for us to try from Michael. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.